Hi Pranati. Hi. How are you doing? Good sir. Okay, as you selected for the next round, that is the technical round. So we will start with the next round, that is technical. So as uh, as you specified, uh, technical skills uh, Python, SQL, and HTML, right? So we will start with the Python. Okay. Uh, can you tell me uh, what is Python? Python is general purpose programming language and it is high, high programming language and object oriented and it is interactive and scripting. Okay. So can you tell me why the Python is becoming popular nowadays? We use Python in many ways like data science. In data science we use Python for machine learning and deep learning neural networks. Uh, we use Python for uh, to store unlimited of data. We can't. Uh, there is no limit of the data in Python. Okay. Okay. And then, what are the various data types uh, that is supported by the Python? Data types, uh, variables. In types of data. How many types of data are there in Python? Int, float, uh, tuple, list, set, the dictionaries. Okay. So, can you tell me what is uh, mutable data and immutable data? Mutable data means we can modify the list and tuple. No, sir, we can modify the uh, sequence of the data. For example, mutable is list, and immutable is we can we cannot modify the sequence. For example, uh, immutable means Tuple. Okay. So, can you write a program to swap two numbers in Python? Yes, sir. If we take a comma uh, a equals to ten and b equals to twenty, we can write a comma b equals to ten comma twenty uh, and b comma a comma b equals to ten comma twenty and b comma a equals to twenty comma ten. Okay. So then, uh, what is the difference between writing of this simple code, if you write in C and if you write in Python, what is the difference? Uh, Python, it can easily compile and uh, it's take Actually, less time. Actually, without uh, taking extra variables, extra. means a temporary variable, you can able to complete this program in Python. Okay. And then, uh, so what are the libraries, uh, do you know, which supports Python? NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, Scatterplot. Okay. And then, uh, what is the difference between .py and a .pyc file? .py is a source code, uh, and .pyc is a bytecode. If we want, if we want to get bytecode, we uh, we have to compile the source code. Then we will get the bytecode. Okay. And then. Um, So can you tell me uh, some uh, what you can say <coughs> methods? Do you know past means uh, several data types are there in Python. Yes. So can you tell me some uh, list functions in Python? List functions or list methods? List is immutable. Okay. And it is a ordered. Uh, type of data and it cannot it can be changed okay so tell me some one function where you can able to modify the list one particular method or function so i want to add a number to the list which append. function you like uh, append function yes okay right so and then uh, what is uh, can you tell me about dictionary in python dictionary is a uh, mutable and there is key and uh, key value pair and it is a on order type of set okay so how to create user defined functions in python if we want to create user defined functions the user has to create uh, the function name like a def uh, function name some function name we have to define okay so do you know about the uh, purpose of return it will return the values Okay. So, do you know about uh, inbuilt functions uh, map? 
it's uh, inbuilt function means uh, already there is a inside uh, uh, function inside of the application so is uh, python is a uh, procedure oriented or object oriented object oriented sir. okay it supports object oriented, object -oriented program also. and then what is uh, mean by inheritance uh, acquiring properties from one class to another class okay so what are the types in inheritance mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, no issue. Okay, and then, so, uh, okay. so and uh, can we can we implement uh, web applications using Python? Yes, sir. How? In uh, by using web development and the um, in mobile, sir, we use the application. Okay. So okay, uh, that's support from my side. I look uh, forward to meet again. So, hi Akansha. So, uh, so, as you selected for the technical round, so we will start the technical round. So, as per your resume, you have specified Python, SQL, HTML, and CSS, right? As a technical skills, we will start with the Python. So, can you tell me some features of Python? Python is easy to learn and easy to use um, because it is simi uh, sim simple in language. Okay. So, uh, can you tell me some keywords in Python? Few of them, not all. Few of them. Like you have conditionals, right? Conditional if, uh, keywords. If right. statement, if a statement, right? Um, uh, nested if uh, okay. so means uh, so so many keywords are there so which is uh, some specific task keywords. okay so and then uh, can you tell me the difference between tuple and list list is uh, mutable which is it means uh, if we have a list we can change which we can modify it is called list um, mutable and immutable means tuple um, which is not modified okay so and then, uh, can you tell me about uh, the difference between set and uh, dictionary? Um, dictionary means a key value pair. Uh, key is a mutable and key is a uh, immutable. Value is mutable, which is modified. Uh, set is sequence data type, which is order data type. So okay, and then um, so. How uh, Python program is uh, getting executed? It executes line by line. Okay. Python is an interpreter programming language. It is a platform independent. Okay. It is an open source. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, what is the procedure to create a user dependent function? Um, the uh, first the user. We, uh, the developer uh, should ask the user to enter the function. Okay. The Means input is taken from the okay. user. Not, not uh, in that way. So how to create a user defined function in Python? Uh, the uh, function name function. Okay. So you need to use def keyword. Def okay. keyword. So with using by using by def the keyword, keyword you can able to create. Right. Okay. So and then, so what are the Features of OOP. OOP is object oriented programming language. Uh, features inheritance, the uh, polymorphism, class, object. Okay. okay. So do you know uh, what we can say? Data abstraction in Python. Yes. Um, the day. The data should. Oh. Okay, if you don't know, okay, no problem. So leave it, no problem. Okay, and then uh, come to the user dependent functions. So means uh, apart from user dependent functions, inbuilt functions are there yes. in Python. Can you explain uh, any inbuilt function? Okay, take your time, no problem. 
simple function means already it is um, inside inside the application. Uh, suppose random module is the inbuilt function. Print is the in, uh, inbuilt function. Okay. Okay, right. So and uh, coming to the okay, you specified okay, uh, Python, right? Okay. <coughs> Yeah. I in Python, uh, can you know uh, any methods like uh, we have data types, right? Yes. So over that data types, right? Yeah. So List. we can apply some functions. List functions, string functions. Yes. If yes. string function means lower, upper, center. Suppose if we take center means um, first we will take a string apple. Uh, when it, uh, it when we want to uh, put in the center, then we will use method dot center, a dot center, then it will come out put as uh, the center. Okay. How memory is organized in Python? Mem memory organization in Python. How memory is organized in Python? Memory is organized in the form of heap data structure. Okay. Right. So, and uh, coming to the OOPS features, so, do you know how to handle with the errors, not OOPS, so we will uh, consider the errors, right? So, so, when you write program, so we will be basing some errors, right? How to handle with the errors in Python? Exception, by using exception handling, we can handle the errors. Okay. So, can you brief about that? No, no, leave it. Okay, okay, right. So and then uh, coming to the applications, right? So so many applications are there. So how can uh, different different applications are possible with the Python? Suppose uh, nowadays data science courses uh, students are more using data science. Uh, Python is also a one of the application in data science. Um, Suppose if we want to create a web page or anything, Python is also used in that application for the web development. Django is also an application of Python. In that way, we will use Python. Okay. So, and then, uh, do you know what is meant by module in Python? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, in Python, we have different modules like random module. Math module, statistic module, it is used to perform a specific task. Okay. So, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, can you write uh, a simple program, right? So, which is uh, to, I have a list, right? I have a list. I wanted to sort that list in ascending order or in descending order. Can you write a program for that? By using the inbuilt function as uh, ascending order, we will write the... Okay. So, okay, which inbuilt function means not inbuilt? So, which list method you will use to sort a list? Sort method, sort functions. Okay. Okay. Uh, Suppose, uh, for we have given a equal to list 1 comma 2 comma 3 b equals to uh, 3 4 comma 5 uh, a dot sort event means uh, that we sort the list okay in which order ascending if okay. uh, what we will give that yes. that way okay so okay uh, okay good so we look forward to meet again